Welcome back to Trek Tales Adventurers. It's your host, ready to whisk you away to another corner of the globe. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of South Africa. Now, when you think of South Africa, what comes to mind? Table Mountain? The Kruger National Park? Iconic, sure, but we're after something more. We're on the hunt for those places that don't make it into the guidebooks the hidden gems whispered about in hushed tones. The thrill of discovery, the allure of the unknown, that's what we live for, right? So buckle up, because today we're venturing off the beaten path. We're going to immerse ourselves in the culture, the landscape, the very soul of a place few outsiders have ever experienced. Get ready to be amazed. Our destination today takes us away from the bustling cities and tourist hotspots. Today, we journey to the Amatola Mountains, a place where time seems to stand still. Imagine a landscape sculpted by ancient forces, where emerald valleys give way to rugged peaks that pierce the sky. Waterfalls cascade down sheer cliffs, their roar echoing through the mist. This is a place where the air is thick with the scent of wildflowers and the only sounds are the wind whispering through the grass and the calls of exotic birds. This is the real South Africa, raw, untouched and utterly captivating. The Amatola Mountains are a place of legend steeped in history and folklore. The Hosa people, who call this land home, have passed down stories for generations about these mountains Stories of ancestors, of spirits, of a connection to the land so deep it's tangible. We're not just here to admire the scenery, we're here to learn, to connect, to experience something truly unique. Over the next few minutes, we'll be your guides, your companions on this journey of discovery. We'll share our experiences, the sights, the sounds, the smells, even the tastes of this remarkable place. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be transported to the hidden gem of the Amatola Mountains. Our journey begins in a small village nestled in the heart of the Amatola Mountains, Hogsback. Named for the distinctive line of three peaks that resemble the back of a hog, this village feels like something out of a fairy tale. Imagine quaint cottages draped in lush ivy, their gardens bursting with vibrant, colorful blooms. The air is crisp and cool, carrying the fresh scent of pine needles and damp earth. There's a palpable energy here in Hogsback, a sense of magic that hangs heavy in the air. Perhaps it's the towering waterfalls that seem to cascade from the heavens, their mist creating rainbows that dance in the sunlight. Or maybe it's the ancient forests, their towering trees draped in moss and lichen, creating a cathedral-like atmosphere. Whatever the source, there's an undeniable feeling that this place is special a sanctuary where the veil between worlds feels thin. We wander through the village, stopping to admire the local craft's intricate beadwork and carvings that reflect the spirit of this place. It's impossible to explore Hogsback without noticing the distinct influence of J.R.R. Tolkien's literary masterpiece, The Lord of the Rings. The landscape itself seems to mirror the Shire, with its rolling hills, babbling brooks, and ancient forests. It's no coincidence that Tolkien spent part of his childhood in these mountains, drawing inspiration from the natural beauty that surrounded him. The locals will tell you stories of how Tolkien based certain characters and locations in his books on people and places he encountered here. Whether true or simply local folklore, these tales add another layer of enchantment to this already magical place. The Amatola Mountains are more than just a stunning landscape. They are the ancestral home of the Hosa people, a place where the land and the sky seem to meet in a harmonious embrace. These mountains have witnessed countless generations of Hosa life, each one leaving an indelible mark on the land. The Kosa people have lived in harmony with this land for centuries their lives intricately woven into the fabric of the natural world around them. They have cultivated a deep respect for the environment, 
understanding that their well-being is inextricably linked to the health of the land. Their culture is deeply intertwined with the natural world, with traditions and practices that honour the earth, the sky and all living things. From the rituals performed at dawn to the songs sung at dusk, every aspect of their lives is a testament to their connection with nature. Their beliefs and traditions have been passed down through generations, each one adding a layer of richness to the cultural tapestry. Elders share their wisdom with the young, ensuring that the stories, songs and customs of the Hosa people continue to thrive. We had the privilege of meeting with a local Jhosa elder, a man named Mavuyisi, whose eyes held the wisdom of a thousand lifetimes. His presence was both calming and commanding, a living bridge between the past and the present. He welcomed us into his home, a simple hut with a thatched roof and walls adorned with intricate beadwork. The hut was more than just a shelter. It was a repository of history, a place where the stories of the Shosa people were kept alive. As we sat on woven mats, sipping on steaming mugs of rooibos tea, the warmth of the tea seemed to mirror the warmth of the hospitality we received. The aroma of the tea filled the air, creating a sense of comfort and belonging. Mvuyisi shared stories of his people, their history, their struggles, and their triumphs. His voice was steady and strong, each word carefully chosen to convey the depth of his experiences. Through his stories, we learned about the resilience and strength of the Kosa people. His words painted vivid pictures in our minds, transporting us back in time to a world we could only imagine. We could almost see the ancient battles fought, the celebrations of harvest, and the quiet moments of reflection under the starlit sky. The stories were not just tales of the past, they were lessons for the future, reminders of the enduring spirit of the Kosa people, a tapestry of tradition. Mimboyisi's stories weren't confined to the past. He spoke of the present, of the challenges facing his community in a rapidly changing world. He spoke with passion about the importance of preserving their traditions, their language, their connection to the land. We witnessed firsthand the vibrant tapestry of Chosa culture, from the brightly colored clothing adorned with intricate beadwork to the rhythmic drumming and singing that filled the air. We learned about the significance of the ancestors, who are believed to watch over and guide their descendants. We saw how respect for elders is paramount in their society, and how community and togetherness are valued above all else. Storytelling under the stars. As the sun began its descent, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, casting long shadows across the valley, the landscape transformed into a canvas of light and shadow. We gathered around a crackling fire with Mavuyisi and a group of villagers, the warmth of the flames drawing us closer together. The sky above exploded in a kaleidoscope of colors, a breathtaking display that seemed almost otherworldly. As the last light of day faded, stars began to twinkle like diamonds scattered across a velvet cloth, each one telling its own story. With the warmth of the fire at our backs, we felt a sense of comfort and camaraderie. The sound of crickets chirping in the night air added a soothing rhythm to the evening, blending seamlessly with the crackling of the fire. Mvuyisi began to share stories passed down through his family for generations, his voice carrying the weight of history and tradition. He spoke of mythical creatures, of talking animals that roamed the forests, and of the spirits that were said to inhabit the mountains. The mountains, shrouded in mist, seemed to come alive with each tale, their peaks and valleys becoming the stage for these ancient stories. Each story was told with such conviction, such passion, that we couldn't help but be swept away by the magic of it all. The expressions of awe on the faces around the fire were a testament to the power of Mubuyisi's storytelling. We listened intently, our imaginations running wild as Mubuyisi's words transported us to a world of wonder and enchantment. The sparks from the bonfire danced into the night sky, mirroring the stories that danced in our minds. Each tale was a journey, a glimpse into a world where the line between reality and fantasy blurred. The night seemed to stretch on forever, each story weaving into the next, 
creating a tapestry of culture and tradition that we felt privileged to be a part of. The connection we felt to the land, to the people, and to the stories was profound, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. As the fire burned low and the stars shone brighter, we knew that this night of storytelling under the stars would be a memory we would cherish forever. A taste of Ubuntu. Our time with Mavuyisi and the Hosa people wasn't just about witnessing their culture. It was about experiencing their warmth, their generosity, and their unwavering sense of community. They welcomed us as honored guests, sharing their food, their stories, and their laughter. We learned about the concept of Ubuntu, a Nguni Bantu term that encapsulates the essence of being human. Ubuntu speaks to the interconnectedness of all things, the understanding that we are all bound together by a shared humanity. It's about compassion, empathy, and recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every individual. It was a privilege to witness Ubuntu in action, to feel the genuine warmth and hospitality of the Shosa people. The Amatola Mountains beckoned, their trails promising not just physical exertion, but a journey through time. Armed with backpacks, hiking boots, and a thirst for adventure, we set off into the emerald embrace of the mountains. The air was cool and crisp, the scent of pine needles and damp earth filling our lungs with each breath. The trail meandered through dense forests, sunlight filtering through the canopy above, creating a mosaic of light and shadow on the forest floor. Towering yellowwood trees, some centuries old, stood like silent sentinels, their branches reaching towards the sky like gnarled fingers. We moved at a leisurely pace, our footsteps muffled by a carpet of fallen leaves, the only sounds the chirping of birds and the occasional rustle of unseen creatures in the undergrowth. As we hiked, we couldn't shake the feeling that we were walking in the footsteps of history. These mountains had witnessed the struggles and triumphs of the Hosa people, their resistance against colonial forces etched into the very landscape. We paused at a clearing, the remnants of a stone kraal, a traditional Hosa homestead, a testament to a way of life that had endured for generations. Mvuisi's stories came flooding back, tales of bravery, of resilience, of a deep connection to the land. We imagined the echoes of laughter, the rhythmic chanting of rituals, the murmur of daily life that once filled these now silent spaces. The air seemed thick with the weight of history, a poignant reminder of the enduring spirit of the Hosa people. As we made our descent, the sun beginning its slow dip towards the horizon, casting long shadows across the mountain slopes, a sense of peace washed over us. The Amatola Mountains had worked their magic, leaving an imprint on our souls that would linger long after we left. We had come seeking adventure, a glimpse into a world less traveled, and we had found so much more. We had discovered a place of breathtaking beauty, steeped in history and culture, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. We had experienced the warmth and generosity of the Hosa people, a reminder that true connection transcends language and cultural barriers. Most importantly, we had been reminded of the power of nature to inspire, to heal, and to connect us to something larger than ourselves. Our journey through the Amatola Mountains has come to an end, but the memories we forged here will last a lifetime. Every step we took, every breath of fresh mountain air, and every stunning vista we encountered has left an indelible mark on our hearts. The Amatola Mountains, with their rugged beauty and serene landscapes, have a way of captivating the soul and leaving one yearning for more. We ventured off the beaten path, seeking a hidden gem, and what we found was beyond our wildest expectations. Nestled within the lush greenery and towering peaks, we discovered the enchanting village of Hogsback. This quaint village, with its charming cottages and mystical aura, felt like stepping into a fairy tale. The locals welcomed us with open arms, sharing stories of the land and its rich history. 
the Amatola Mountains are more than just a pretty picture. They are a testament to the power of nature to inspire, to heal, and to connect us to something larger than ourselves. As we hiked through the dense forests and along the winding trails, we felt a profound sense of peace and tranquility. The symphony of birdsong, the rustling of leaves, and the distant roar of waterfalls created a natural soundtrack that soothed our souls. We witnessed the raw beauty of a landscape sculpted over millennia, its valleys echoing with the whispers of ancient spirits. The mist that clung to the mountains in the early morning light added an ethereal quality to the scenery, making it feel as though we had stepped into another world. Each valley and peak told a story, a narrative of time and nature's relentless artistry. We felt the pulse of history, walking in the footsteps of the Hosa people, their culture woven into the very fabric of the land. The Hosa have a deep connection to these mountains and their traditions and stories are interwoven with the landscape. We visited cultural heritage sites and learned about their customs, their struggles and their triumphs. The wisdom of the elders and the vibrant spirit of the community left a lasting impression on us. We experienced the true meaning of Ubuntu, the warmth and generosity of a people who embrace community and connection as a way of life. The Kosa concept of Ubuntu, which means I am because we are, was evident in every interaction we had. We shared meals, laughter, and stories with the villagers. And in those moments, we felt a profound sense of belonging. The Amatola Mountains and their people have a way of making you feel at home, no matter where you come from. Our journey to the Amatola Mountains serves as a powerful reminder that the most rewarding adventures often lie hidden in plain sight. It's a call to embrace the unknown, to venture beyond the familiar, and to open our hearts and minds to the beauty and wonder that surrounds us. There's a whole world out there waiting to be discovered, a tapestry of cultures, landscapes, and experiences that challenge our perceptions and enrich our lives. So why not take a chance? Step outside your comfort zone and seek out those hidden gems that call to your adventurous spirit. You might be surprised by what you find. Remember, the greatest adventure is the one that takes you not just to new places, but to new depths within yourself. We hope our journey through the Amatola Mountains has inspired you to embark on your own adventures to seek out the hidden gems in your own backyard and beyond. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed our journey, share it with your fellow adventurers, and subscribe to Trek Tales so you don't miss out on our future expeditions. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload new content. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep the spirit of adventure alive. From all of us here at Trek Tales, happy travels.